So a railroad strike set for early December could have a Grinch-like impact on the holiday season. Natalie Brand is in Washington, D.C. with what actions the White House and lawmakers are taking to try to prevent that from happening. President Biden is calling on Congress to act in order to prevent what he describes as a potentially crippling national rail shutdown. Congress, I think, has to act to prevent it. It's not an easy call, but I think we have to do it. The economy is at risk. The White House had helped negotiate a contract between rail companies and workers in September, but four of the 12 railroad unions have since voted it down. In a statement Monday night, the president said he wants Congress to pass legislation immediately to adopt the tentative agreement between railroad workers and operators without modifications or delay. I would hope they'd all be able to get on board. Uh, we certainly can't afford to have the economy shut down with the rail strike right now. The Railway Labor Act gives Congress the right to push back the strike deadline, extend the negotiating period, force the two sides to use an arbitrator or enact legislation to adopt an agreement. The possible congressional action comes as the rail unions have said they're prepared to strike December 9th, just as the holiday season swings into full gear. It'd be highly disruptive to the economy. Obviously, it would disrupt already very fragile supply chains, adding to shortages and the high inflation. And inflation, of course, is a big problem for American households. Nearly 30 percent of all U.S. goods are shipped on railways. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.